Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at the active track and connection loss test on the DJI Mini 3. With this I will be testing out all the sensors on the drone whilst in active track to see if it will move out of the way of all the obstacles. From this clip you can see I'm using the DJI RC controller, so this is exactly what I can see on the controller. So you highlight yourself on the screen and it gives you active track, spotlight and point of interest. If you click on active track and then you don't click on go, it will automatically go back to spotlight. So just walk into the woods here so we can get it around some foliage to see if the sensors will pick them up and stop it from crashing. So we'll select the active track so the drone will start to fly in on me and you'll be able to see in the top of the screen the amber which will turn red. Little half circles there so that's the uh, sensors picking up there's something there. Now you can see it from my point of view. There you go, the drone's just sitting there watching me. So we'll walk behind this tree here. So from the drone's point of view there's quite a lot of foliage and it's already lost me as you can see. But you don't have to worry, it will just sit there and there you go, subject lost and it will just revert back to normal and the drone will just sit there in the air. So the best thing to do is walk back into the open without touching any controls so you don't want to fly into anything. There you go, make sure there's nothing around you. So that's what happens if it loses you in this mode. So I'll do it again in slightly different circumstances. It's a little bit more open, but there is trees and things in the way. So it's just on spotlight mode at the moment. And I believe I tried to pop it onto active track there. It didn't work first time. So there we go, we'll pop it on anyway. And the drone will come in watching me using all of its sensors there. There you go. Now I did film it from my point of view and my GoPro is what I'm doing there, but um, you couldn't really see the drone very well because of all the trees and everything behind me, so I didn't use that footage. So you can see it loses me for a second, but it is searching for me and picks me up again pretty quick. Now you can see the drone is moving side to side. It doesn't have sensors on the sides of the drone, but it does move side to slide slightly. I think the sensors on the front do have a good feel of field of view, so it kind of builds up a picture of what's around it. And it's navigated through them trees, no problem. So I go back to the road now, leaving the drone in in this section of the wood because it won't come out because it won't get that close to me. And you can see even though it is moving left to right and swerving around, it is picking up all the obstacles and successfully moving around them. Again, I was filming it from my point of view, but you couldn't really see the drone in between all the trees. So this is what happens when you use the active track. It does lose you, like it has here for quite quite a while there. But there you go. It's picked me back, picked me up again. These are some of the features I researched before purchasing this drone. I had wanted a drone for a long time. I wondered, is this the one? And doing my research on these features definitely made me think, yes, this could be the one. There's a lot cheaper drones out there, but if you um, if you lose the drone, even if it's only two, three hundred pounds, it, it's a lot of money just to lose. So paying extra money might be worth it in the first place. So this part of the test, I didn't film it. As you can see, this is on the RC. I didn't film it on the drone, so I don't have the 4K version. So I'm going to take it about a kilometer. I'm looking for my partner and the children. I did this on a walk. And I'm going to make it lose connection. You can see in the top of the top right of the screen where it says RC and it's got all four bars. But you can just see them on the 
on the track there. As I come closer to them, I'll come down to the ground, which won't help with the with the signal strength, and I will move right into the woods so there'll be about a kilometer of things in the way so it'll lose connection really fast so this was one of the main things that made me think this could be the drone for me as a startup drone pilot there you go i've moved in and you saw the signal dropped out straight away this is my view this is all i can see i can't see the drone in person but the drone will return to home you don't have to worry this isn't the time to panic as you can see it started there and i've got it set at the default 100 meters height when returning to home so it will go up to 100 meters and it will return to the spot it took off in you can see there tap to cancel rth return to home and i've got full signal on the rc now because it's gone a lot higher so I've got my full signal back so I could stop this now you can alter up and down the camera as you can see now I'm not actually stood at the home point where it took off so I'm just going to let it come along and I'm going to watch for myself on the track and then I will cancel that return to home now at 100 meters if it's a little bit windy you may not even hear the drone go over you so keep an eye on your RC remote and you'll soon see me on the track and I'll just bring it down for a land now this feature I think is absolutely brilliant because you don't have to worry one about losing it because you know it will come back to the point it took off and it will go up to get some RC signal with you again up to 100 meters or whatever you set it at so you don't have to panic when it does that and you know that the sensors will move out of the way of the foliage and things and you see I just bring it down now and I'll just land it in my hand now the sensors they do work really well they're not totally foolproof you'll see at the end of this video in another clip I on the way back I do clip a I don't think it was a, a branch it was a leaf a small leaf I heard the drone hit it when we was out on the walk and you see it does alter the flight slightly for a second but it doesn't make the drone fall out fall out of the sky or anything like that this is just some of the 4k footage i did once i was out you can see it's in cine mode but um i haven't got it set up to turn very slowly so sometimes these can be a little bit blurry when you're spinning around but they're the settings you can play with on your own when setting it up now like i said i did loads of research on the different drones and there is a lot cheaper drones that you can buy other than the dji mini pro 3 but this is the uh, up to now before the 4 comes out this is the only drone of this size that has um, downward facing forward and backward facing sensors now you can turn these sensors off, you can pop it into sport mode, it'll go really quick. Um, but just remember, it will fly into anything you're aiming at. So on this section, I uh, used the 4K camera just on the drone this time. And I'm just moving forward. I'm on Cine view, and you can see it's nice and slow. And it moves out of the way of the things in its the things coming up on the sensors moves out of the way of the trees it gets close to uh, some of the branches though some of the smaller branches this kind of view i really like uh, you do have to keep in mind that i am moving out of view of the drone and you don't want the signal to drop too much you don't really want the return to home to try and work from here not sure how that would go going up to 100 meters of all the branches above it it would pick them up and stop it from moving i don't know if it would make its way out maybe that's another test for another day you can see as you're coming back you can start to see us and it was like a like a hole in the trees that I flew through which was brilliant 
and you can see just coming up now you'll see it hit this there you go you saw it drop for a second well i wouldn't say drop it just went down for a second as one of the propellers clipped that branch and you can see all the foliage in front of us so that kind of view is really good it's like exploring with the drone now i moved the drone down there i don't know why i should have just gone forward and let it go near itself so as we come out put it back into normal mode and just fly it out and up and have a little look around <laughs> 